um, during the meetup on April 30th. Uh, it's going to be out at uh, La Fortune Park, right? I so, believe that's right. Yeah, yeah so family-friendly. Everybody bring the kids, and it'll be a relaxing yet brainstorming, informative meetup. I hear that there's going to be a few other surprises there as well. Absolutely. I know that Eli, our mascot, oh, excuse me, I've changed his name. It's Eli, our ambassador, who is actually a therapy dog. Uh, he's a great Pyrenees, and he loves people. And so he will be there wearing, sporting his pink outfit as well. And uh, we know for a fact that the Tulsa Pink Police Car will be there probably near the beginning of the event. I can't keep it tied up too long. Right. And right. we know that the new pink ambulance, which will be um, unveiled on the 26th, will also come by probably around the beginning of the meetup. I'm guessing around 1.30 that day because it starts at 1 and we'll get some people there and then hopefully they'll show up about 1.30. And we're hoping the Tulsa Pink Police I mean, Pink Fire Truck will be there because it has its boo-boo has been fixed and it's back in operation. Excellent. So those, those will be worthwhile. Kids will love seeing the pink cars and talking to the guys driving them, and it'll be great. It'll be great. That's right. Um, how can people get involved that may not be a member of Social Media Tulsa? Because this is not an exclusive deal. We're talking about all of Tulsa County. So exactly. um, what are some of the companies that are, are involved, and then how can people get involved in general? Well, first of all, let me just say I, I'm so thrilled that the Phil Tower in downtown Tulsa will be turning its lights pink probably for two weeks during the end of October. Our actual uh, dates of Turn Tulsa Pink that are in conjunction with the Pink Hills Tour are October 25th through 27th, which is a Tuesday through Thursday. So we're going to have those special days, but we're pushing it out, and we're going to start out October the, Saturday, October the 22nd, with um, uh, the Green Country Roller Girls will be holding their bout against breast cancer. It's going to be at the Fairgrounds Pavilion, and it's going to be awesome. And we hope to fill the pavilion with those fans. Cheap tickets, lots of fun. If you haven't seen Empowered Women, this is the chance to see Empowered Women. That's correct. Um, we're hoping to get One Oak Field uh, for our Sunday balloon launch. It depends on if the guys get in the playoffs and whether they, you know, if the field's going to be available. But we want to do a balloon launch on that Sunday afternoon to release balloons of women across the Tulsa County who have lost their battle to cancer of any kind. You can buy a balloon for a dollar that's helium filled, attach their name to it, and we'll release them all at one time. That should be a very moving experience. Um, I told you about the Phil Tower. Oh, uh, Arts and Humanities Council is spraying the grass pink from Harweldon all the way down to Riverside Drive. And the logo winner will have their logo also sprayed right there in that pink grass. So that's a real boost. So another you. reason to go to the website, enter the logo contest, and then Absolutely. show up on the 30th to see if you won. <laughs> Get your money. Oh, so you can win your $100. That's a lot of money for a struggling artist. It is. And we're hoping, we're really hoping to get more and more people, wherever you work, Ask them if they would like to be a partner. This this campaign, the beauty of this is it doesn't cost anything. If, you, if your company wants to hold a fundraiser for something, we encourage you to do so, but you don't send the money to Breast Impressions or Turn Tulsa Pink. What you do is you decide who you want to give it to and make that a donation. Many, many nonprofit organizations dealing with cancer are also going to be a part of this. American Cancer Society, Cancer Sucks, Tulsa Project Woman. We're looking for a lot of uh, the Lung Association. You know, cancer actually, lung cancer is the biggest killer of women in the state of Oklahoma. Oh, wow. Um, wow. So breast cancer is second. Colon cancer, we've had one of our own social media people deal with that, as you well know. Um, everybody knows some woman who's had and been affected by cancer. Everybody does. That's so true. It could be a friend, a friend of a friend. So this is really, really a campaign just to honor the women 
throughout our Tulsa County who have battled and won or battled and lost their fight against cancer. That's so great. So to sum it up, if you have a special skill, a talent, or you just want to come and hang out with the social media Tulsa folks and brainstorm about how you and even how we can participate more in the month of October uh, in Turn Tulsa Pink and in this wonderful uh, charitable mission that Judy is on and that we're, we're on board. We're on the pink bandwagon, I tell you. It's Thank great. You. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I will say, too, that I consider everyone I meet a center of influence and everybody knows somebody. So just if you can think of one person that you know that would think this was an awesome idea, get that one person involved. That, and if we could do that, I mean, it would be a gigantic wave started at social media that reached out throughout the entire county and really, really rock this place. Judy, well, thank you so much for spending time. And this has been a really informative uh, interview, and I appreciate everything you're doing. And we'll see you. Well, I won't see you because I can't be there, but everybody else will see you on April 30th. Thank you. Bye-bye.